counts 46 and 47, inhumane conditions. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment, for willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentences you, Draco Mucic, to seven years imprisonment for cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war. The ch trial chamber sentences you, Draco Mucic, to seven years imprisonment. Count 48, unlawful confinement of civilians. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, unlawful confinement of civilians. For unlawful confinement of civilians as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentenced you, Draco Mucic, to seven years imprisonment. Count 49, a violation of the laws or customs of war plunder is dismissed. In imposing sentence for each count under which you have been found guilty, the trial chamber has taken into account a number of factors. We wish to emphasize the duty of a commander of any detention facility during an armed conflict to ensure the proper treatment of the prisoners contained therein. You are clearly derelict in this duty and allow those under your authority to commit the most heinous of offenses without taking any disciplinary action. Furthermore, as commander of the Celebici prison camp, you are the person with the primary responsibility for the conditions in which the prisons were kept. As is causing some debt in our written judgment, the trial chamber is appalled by the inadequacy of the food and water supplies and medical and sleeping facilities that were pro that were provided for the detainees, as well as the atmosphere of terror which reigned in this Celebici prison camp. The trial chamber has also noted your demeanor and general attitude throughout the trial, and wishes to emphasize that these are the most solemn of judicial proceedings involving the most serious of charges, and you have often displayed a lack of appropriate respect as well as a seeming lack of awareness of the gravity of the charges against you. The trial chamber has further considered the factors which stand in your favor. You have been made aware of the circumstances prevailing in the Konjic municipality at the relevant time, as well as in the Celebici prison camp. We have also had evidence you attempted to help some of the detainees in the prison camp, while at the same time not demonstrating such concern in relation to all. It appears that your interest in self-preservation was the dominant consideration guiding your actions. The trial chamber wishes to emphasize the importance during an armed conflict of the obligation on all individuals to act morally and responsibly, despite the surrounding chaos and social breakdown. Mr. Mucic, you may sit down. Mr. Delich, will you please stand up? With respect to the third accused, Azim Delic, uh, counts one and two, killing of Skepo Gotovac, guilty of a grave breach of Geneva, Geneva Convention 4, willful killing and a violation of the laws or customs of war. For willful killing as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentenced you, you Azim Delic, to 20 years imprisonment. For murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the ch trial chamber sentenced you as a daily to 20 years imprisonment. Counts three and four, killing of Zelcho, Zelko Milosevic, for willful killing as a grave breach of Geneva Convention, for willful killing of the law, and a violation of the law or customs of war murder, the trial chamber sentenced you, Hazim Delhi, to 20 years imprisonment for murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war. The trial chamber sentences you, Hazim Delhi, 
to 20 years imprisonment. Killing of Simo Jovanovic, not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949 and a violation of the laws or customs of war. Counts 11 and 12, killing of Slavko Susic, not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, willful killing and a violation of the laws or customs of war, murder. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention for willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health and a violation of the laws or customs of war. For willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health as a grave breach of Geneva Convention for the trial chamber sentences you has him delege to seven years imprisonment. For cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you has him delege to seven years imprisonment. Counts 13 and 14. Superior responsibility for murders. Not guilty of a great breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949. Willful killings and a violation of the laws or customs of war. Counts 15 and 16. Torture of Moma Kulianin. Not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949 and a violation of the laws or customs of war. Torture. Count 17. Not guilty of the laws or customs of war. Cruel treatment. Counts 18 and 19. Torture and rape of Grotz Dana Churches. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention for rape as torture and a violation of the laws or customs of war. For torture as a grave breach of Geneva Convention, the trial chamber sentences you has in Delhi to 15 years imprisonment. For torture as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you has in Delhi to 15 years imprisonment. Count 20. A violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment, is dismissed. Counts 21 and 22, torture and rape of Milioka and Ante. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, rape as torture and a violation of the laws or customs of war. For torture as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentenced you as in Delhi to 15 years imprisonment. For torture as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you as in Delhi to 15 years imprisonment. Count 23. If a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment is dismissed. Count 24 and 25. Torture of Spasoje. Medievic, not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949 and a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count 26, not guilty of a violation of the laws or customs of war and cruel treatment. Counts 27 and 28, touch of Miracle Babbage, not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949 and a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count 29, not guilty of a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment. Counts 33 and 34, superior responsibility for acts of torture, not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, <laughs> and a violation of the laws or customs of war, torture. Count 35, not guilty of a violation of the laws or customs of war in cruel treatment. Count 38 and 39, superior responsibility for causing great suffering or serious injury. Not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, and a violation of the laws or customs of war. Cruel treatment. 
counts 42 and 43 inhumane acts involving the use of an electrical device guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention for inhuman treatment and a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment. For inhuman treatment as a grave breach of the Geneva Convention, the trial chamber sentences you, has in Delich, to 10 years imprisonment. For cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you, has in Delich, to 10 years imprisonment. Counts 44 and 45. Superior responsibility for inhuman acts. Not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, inhuman treatment, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment. Counts 46 and 47, inhuman conditions. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment. For willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentences you has in Delhi to seven years imprisonment. For cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you delict, has in delict, to seven years imprisonment. Unlawful confinement of civilians. Not guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4. Count 49. A violation of the laws of customs of war. Plunder. This is dismissed. In imposing sentence for each count under which you have been found guilty, the trial chamber has primarily taken into account the gravity of these offenses and their effects on the victims involved. We've been appalled by the details of your criminal actions as recounted by many victims and witnesses. You displayed a, singularly, a singular brutality in causing the deaths of two men detained in the Celebici prison, prison camp and a calculated cruelty in the torture and mistreatment of many others. You raped two defenseless women on several occasions, seeking to exert your power over them and instill absolute fear in them. The trial chamber considers the rape of any person to be a despicable act, which strikes at the very core of human dignity and physical integrity, as well as showing no mercy to your chosen victims. You displayed no remorse before this trial chamber. Throughout your tenure as deputy commander in the Celebrity prison camp, you were instrumental in creating an atmosphere of terror by your actions and your threats to the to and humiliation of these detainees. It appears that you took a sadistic pleasure in causing the detainees pain and suffering, most clearly illustrated by your frequent use of a device to inflict electrical shocks. You abuse your position of authority and trust as deputy commander. And although you have been found not to have command responsibility for the offenses of others within the prison camp, by your actions, you encourage others among the camp guards to engage in their own forms of mistreatment of the, de the detainees. Once again, the trial chamber would emphasize that the breakdown of society and the mechanisms which ordinarily sanction crimes during times of, times of armed conflict must not be used in avoidance of the responsibility on all individuals to conduct themselves appropriately and exercise moral choice. Mr. Dedich, you may now sit down. Mr. Lanzo, will you please stand up? Counts one and two, killing of Skepo Gotovac. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, willful killing, and a violation of the laws or customs of war murder. For willful killing 
as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4. The trial chairman sentences you as at Lanza to 15 years imprisonment. For murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you as a Lanzo to 15 years imprisonment. Counts 5 and 6, killing of Simo Jovanovic, guilty of a grave, breach, a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, willful killing, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, murder. For willful killing as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentences you as a Lanzo to 15 years imprisonment. For murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you as a Lanzo to 15 years imprisonment. Killing of Bosco Samokovic, guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4. Willful <laughs> killing and a violation of the laws or customs of war. For willful killing as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4. The trial chamber sentences you as a Lanzo to 15 years imprisonment. For murder as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you as a Lanzo to 15 years imprisonment. Counts 11 and 12, killing of Slavko Susic, not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, willful killing and a violation of the laws or customs of war. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment. For willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, Trial Chamber sentences you as a Lanza to five years imprisonment for cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war. The Trial Chamber sentences you as a Lanza to five years imprisonment. Torture of Moma Kulianen, counts 15 and 16. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4. Torture and a violation of the laws or customs of war. For torture as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentences you as a Lanzo to seven years imprisonment. For torture as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you as a Lanzo to seven years imprisonment. Count 17, a violation of the laws or customs of war. Cruel treatment, this is dismissed. Counts 24 and 25, torture of Spasoje Milevic. Guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, torture, and a violation of the laws or customs of war. For torture as a grave breach of Geneva Convention, the trial chamber sentence you, sentences you as a Lanjo to seven years in prison. For torture as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you as Atlanzo to seven years imprisonment. Count 26, a violation of the laws or customs of war cruel treatment. This is also dismissed. Count 27 and 28, torture of Mirko Babich, not guilty of a grave breach of the Geneva Conventions of 1949 and a violation of the laws or customs of war. Count 29, not guilty of a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment. Counts 30 and 31, torture of Mirko Dodic, guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, torture, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, torture. For torture as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentences you as at Lanzo to seven years imprisonment. For torture as a violation of the laws of customs of the war, the trial chamber sentences you as at Lanzo to seven years imprisonment. Count 32, a violation of the laws of customs of war, cruel treatment is also dismissed. Count 36 and 37. Causing great suffering or serious injury to Nedelko Draganich. 
guilty of a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, and a violation of the laws or customs of war. For willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentences you as at last to five years imprisonment for cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war. The trial chamber sentences you as at Lanzo to five years imprisonment. Counts 46 and 47 in humane conditions. Guilty of a, a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4 willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, cruel treatment. For willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health, mm -hmm. as a grave breach of Geneva Convention 4, the trial chamber sentences you, as at Lanzo, to five years imprisonment. For cruel treatment as a violation of the laws or customs of war, the trial chamber sentences you as at Lanzo also to five years imprisonment. The trial chamber has carefully considered all of the evidence concerning you, your state of mind at the time of the commission of your offenses. While we have dismissed your defense of diminished responsibility, we have noted your young age at the relevant time and your impressionability and immaturity as well as your particular personality traits and the fact that the armed conflict in your hometown had upon you. It is these factors which have led us to impose a less severe sentence than the seriousness and cruelty of your crimes would ordinarily require. The trial chamber does not have accept that you are the main instrument of your superiors, lacking the ability to exercise independent will. The nature of your crime is suggestive of significant imagination and a perverse pleasure in the infliction of pain and suffering. It is most disturbing to see such propensity for violence and disregard for human life and dignity in one so young. Mr. Lanzo, you may now sit down. In relation to each of the accused as found guilty and sentenced accordingly, the sentences are to be served concurrently. In addition, according to sub rule 101D of the Rules of Procedure and Evidence, Draco Music has in Delich and as at Lanzo are entitled to credit for some time spent in detention pending surrender to the International Tribunal and pending mm -hmm. trial. Thus, Drabko Mucic is entitled to credit for two years, seven months, and 29 days in relation to the sentence imposed by the trial chamber as at the date of this judgment. Together with such additional time as may be served pending the determination of any appeal, Hazem Delich and Hazem Lanjo are each entitled to credit for two years, six months, and 14 days in relation to the sentences imposed by the trial chamber as at the date of this judgment. Together with such additional time as may be served pending any appeal, Pursuant to Article 27 of the Statute and Rule 103, imprisonment shall be served in a state designated by the President of the Tribunal from a list of states which have indicated their willingness to accept convicted prisoners, persons. The transfer of Drapko music as in Delich and as a Lanzo to such status shall be effected as soon as possible after the time limit for appeal has elapsed. In the event that notice of appeal is given, the transfer of the person or persons in respect of whom such notice of appeal is given shall instead be effected 
as soon as possible after the appeal chamber has made its determination. Mm -hmm. Until that time, in accordance with the provisions of Rule 102, Draco Mucic, Hazim Delic, and his Atlanta are to remain in custody of the International Tribunal. Pursuant to Rule 99 of the Rules, Zetni Delalic is entitled to be released immediately from the United Nations Detention Unit. This concludes the judgment of the trial chamber. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, and we hear you, Mr. If Your Honours, please, pursuant to if Your Honours, please, pursuant to Rule 99B, the prosecutor gives notice of its intention uh, to file an appeal against the uh, acquittal of the accused Delalich, and we would ask that uh, uh, he be retained in, in custody pending the fi filing by us of a notice of appeal. Uh, we intend to do that expeditiously and uh, that we hope to file a notice uh, by close of business this afternoon. Uh, if that's not done, uh, then the prosecutor will not be proceeding with an appeal. But uh, that's our intention to give notice now uh, and to file by close of business this afternoon. And accordingly, Your Honours, pursuant to rules 102 a of the rules of procedure and evidence, we ask that he be retained in custody for that period. Um, are you uh, familiar with Rule 99, under which uh, rule you are bringing this application? Yes, Your Honour. There's, I'm, I'm bringing, bringing the application uh, under a number of rules. Um, the, first, the first rule, Your Honour, is the uh, Rule 102 which deals with status of convicted persons and um, giving the notice. Uh, yes, well, it doesn't come under that. It's not a convicted person. Uh, acquitted persons, yes, Your Honour. Yes, acquitted persons, yes. So I give notice, Your Honour, pursuant to that rule. Yes, well, I think, uh, according to the rule, I suppose we might rise for about 15 minutes for you. And Your enable Honours, you to justify why such a warrant has to be issued. Your Honours, please. Yes. Yes, may we hear you, Mrs. Roslovich? Because we'll rise and come back so that uh, the issue may be argued why he should be detained pending appeal. Trust me, so that. Your Honours, it is true that the prosecutor can give such a notice and request that from the trial chamber in accordance with Rule 99. This, however, is merely a possibility which he is advancing before the trial chamber. For that possibility to be justified and in accordance of other rules, justified reasons need to be uh, demonstrated. The prosecutor has not given any single reason for that. In about 20 days, Enil Delanich will have spent 1,000 days in prison. And That's why I said we will rise and come back in 15 minutes only for that argument. While the others retire, there's just a Hello. Thank you. For the prosecutors, uh, yes, all counsel connected with that case should be here. But I think the others are not necessarily involved in that. Just uh, the first accused. All right. For you, Philippe.